So here's Michael Benham Page, shiny pro record, more than 20 wins, just a couple of pro losses. This man is exceedingly hard to put away. He's made a career of putting the opposition away. This was one of the more highly touted free agents in all of mixed martial arts. We're very happy to have Michael Benham Page here in the UFC. But no rest for the weary, right? You knew that when they signed MVP, and if they were able to do so, they were going to be giving him tough challenges right out of the shoot. And that is precisely what is in front of Michael Venom Page here tonight. But a lot of people believe, even though MVP did not sign with the UFC until his late 30s, there is still plenty of fight left in this dome. Goodness, a pinch yourself moment. Did you ever think you would hear this song and Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon? It finally happens to me. I mean, everything about this man is iconic. From the song, the walk, the facial expressions. He's so stoic. You know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he steps inside the octagon. His list of opponents, the guys that he has beaten over the course of his career, is unmatched by many. That is why still today, Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. inside the octagon and is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Michael Page. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Fayor. One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee tonight. Let's do it. All right, here we go with round one, and it is great to see Michael Ben Page rocking the UFC gloves here tonight. One of the best fighters to cross over from another big promotion. But he doesn't really focus too much on that, free agent, signee, or otherwise. He believes he's going to be the best welterweight in the world. And no rest for the weary, right? They are giving him appreciable, high-level top 15 challenges right out of the shoot. It's a no single, no problem. Beautiful takedown there. And the kickboxer better get upright, or this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to hustle. But the problem is that his fighting style leads to takedowns. Every time he throws the body kick, the wrestler is looking to grab it. Level change into him and take him to the mat. This time he timed that takedown beautifully, and now he's fighting where he's comfortable. kick so there it is the kickboxer successfully defends the first takedown attempt by the more balanced fighter he said he might have to play defense early did it well there well he's expecting the wrestler to fatigue 
as the takedowns fail, he starts to get more tired. Then he will let his hands go, elbows go, knees go, and use all of his weapons to try and finish this fight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Stuff the takedown, no problem. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Right hand on the counter is true. Just misses with the left hook. Beautiful block there. Just over three minutes to go now. Plants and right hand lands upstairs. Slips the shot. the takedown, no problem. Get off first. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. And just misses with that big right hand. Beautiful jab lands. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. And they separate. Oh, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely, of kicks. Kick, 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 kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Oh, nice. Oh, single collar tie here. Leg kick checked effectively there by Emelianenko. Throws that team. Takedown defense is there. Maxim with that uppercut. Some separation. He might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. Nice. That shot landed nice perfect. Nice shot. Big right hand there. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Take down defense holds up. Oh, they're trading huge shots here to see who's the last man standing. Page gets tattooed by that straight punch. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar ties. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only just punches, not only just strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy 
to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Jim. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get choked. <laughs> well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. <laughs> Look for him to throw that overhand here again. His work, guys. All right, so Emilian Echo's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice. Nicely done. He landed that inside leg kick. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career. It's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Good sequence of kicks there by Page. Oh, slips and rips. Misses with the left hook. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it showed. This is a very evenly matched fight. They're so evenly matched. Oh, right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. All right, so Emelianenko's blocking well now. Nice job to protect him. These two guys are trading good shots. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing shot. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so... Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Less than a minute now to go in round two. I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg kicks whatsoever, despite the obvious visible damage we now see. And, and you can see it early, Jim. Very early you saw that he was almost dismissive of that attack. But I believe that now we're getting to a point. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Oh, big, big shots here. Missed with that right hand. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward.
he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Page gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Ooh, how about that defense into offense and certainly the... Oh, yes, 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 yes. We'll see if he can finish. It's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to pop. Emelianenko's trying for a submission here. Oh, that Von flute choke is down. Oh, he got out, how good is that? This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Good, solid strike on the ground. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Beautiful transition. There it is, now he's going to mount. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Fedor Emelianenko gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground. Oh, my goodness. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Big clinch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now some separation. Oh, he's still hurt. He's up. He can't even stand. Oh, he dove with the punch and he lands. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Emilian Echo's in half guard now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, feet on the hips here. He passes the half. Cage get pepper here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, a huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Emelianenko's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now some separation. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter Oh, fades upstairs and lands rushed to the body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. goes in for the takedown now. Nice level change and he gets it. So, showing off the fight IQ there. He was getting tagged on the feet. You see him put himself into the half guard. Like the control, yep. Now he's going full mount. 
This is a terrible position. Nice shot there by the champ. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Fader. All right, three rounds right. down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how level he is. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, oh. Oh. This man oh, is landing brutal ground and pound. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jason! Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and s changes so fast. Things change so quick 